Hi guys, in this lecture we will understand what are virtual methods and overriding. Now you need to understand the concept of inheritance to understand what are, what are virtual methods. So please watch my video on inheritance before proceeding to this video. Let's go, to, go through our slides. A function marked as virtual can be overridden by subclasses wanting to provide a specialized implementation. A subclass overrides a virtual method by applying the override modifier. So what does this say? This says that if we have a base class and a derived class. Now if we have a function in base class which has virtual method, we can override that method through our derived class. That means we can provide our own implementation of that virtual method. Let's see this in an example. Now this is the same example what we have worked in uh, inheritance demo. So he has a employee class and that has a uh, common method called as swipe in and then we have a manager class and a developer class. Now say so suppose in our organization there, uh, there is a presentation ceremony going on. That means all the employees should give some, some sort of presentation there. So a manager will also give a presentation and a developer will also give a presentation. So if we sim try to simulate this through our program, we will have a method called as give presentation. So let's let's uh, make that program. It's public void give presentation. And let's type a implementation, sudo implementation, and that's console.write line. All employees need to give a presentation. Now I want both the manager class and developer class to implement this give presentation method in their own way. That is, a manager should also give a presentation and a developer should also give a presentation. So how will I achieve that? I will achieve by making this method as virtual. Now what happens, uh, the moment I mark this uh, method as virtual, this method could be overridden by manager class and developer class. That means a manager can also have a give presentation method in its own class and he can he can change the implementation here. Uh, same goes for the developer class. So let's try to do this. So we have public override void give presentation and the moment we do this it gives us the implementation for now let's get rid of this and let's copy this and paste it here and let's remove this and let's So you can see I have changed the implementation here. Manager is giving the presentation. That means this presentation, give presentation method is belongs to the manager class. And how I am overriding this uh, give presentation method from employee class by making this method as virtual and using override keyword in my manager's class. Similarly, I can do this, do the same with developer class. So let's copy this. And And let's paste it here. So, and this is the method of developer, developer's presentation. So let's try to make a object and see what happens. Let's make an object of manager class. And here see, I am calling the manager's presentation method. Let's try to run this. Manager is giving the presentation. That means I am calling the manager's implementation. Now let's try this with developer class. Developer is giving the presentation. Now let's let's see what happens if we change this to employee class the first class 
the base class so let's try to run this all employees needs to give the presentation that means it's calling this method the original virtual method so it's uh, i guess this is clear let's see what happens if we uh, point this base class towards a derived class say let's make this manager so i have explained you in, in the previous lecture that a base class can always point towards the derived class so let's see what happens which give presentation method it will call it is calling the managers presentation method that means if class is pointing towards the derived class it will call the derived class virtual method now say suppose we need to call the base class method from the derived class so we will do like we will use the base keyword and give presentation so we can also call the base class method from the derived class with the help of base keyword see it's first calling the base class method and then it's calling the managers class method that means a specialized class method so the important points to take down from this session are when if we need to override a method we need uh, we need the use the virtual and override keywords if base class is pointing towards the derived class it will call the derived class method and you can use the base keyword to call the base class method and this virtual method virtual methods also take part in runtime polymorphism so in future videos when we will learn about runtime polymorphism i will uh, we will make use of virtual methods so let's move back to our slides now a virtual method cannot be private it is intended to be exposed to other classes through inheritance and that makes sense because if you mark a virtual method as private you cannot access it through derived class so, so virtual method cannot be private the compiler will throw an error that stating that a virtual method is marked as private okay and the signatures of, uh, of virtual and override methods must be identical and they must have the same name number and types of parameters this means that my give presentation method is it returns void and it takes no parameters same goes with the give presentation method of managers class it is void and it doesn't take any parameters you can see the moment i pass the parameter to it it gives me an error says no suitable method found to found to override and that makes sense because you are changing the parameters of this method and this method so remember why do we use virtual methods if we need to provide our own implementation we use virtual methods with the help of override keyword we override the uh, virtual methods implementation with the help of override keywords so i hope you understood this video thank you so very much